fraud charges. Karen DeSoto is a defense attorney and former prosecutor, joins me now. Uh, Karen, when we're looking at this, I, I want to be clear. It's not that prosecutors are saying they are responsible for Anna Nicole Smith's right. death. Right. However, if they gave her the drugs that killed her, doesn't that seem like the logical next step? Yeah, it sounds like uh, reckless endangerment to me. But however, they had enough to get them on 11 counts here. Remember, when they found Nicole, there were 11 prescriptions that they found next to her bedside and her purse and on her person. A lot of those were in the name of Howard Stern, also in the name of aliases. So there's a lot of fraud, deceit. Um, conspiracy to distribute. Remember this um, TMZ photo that showed the inside of Anna Nicole's refrigerator and it showed all those prescription drugs right. in there. Uh, we now know that Dr. Christine Erosevich, who plans to turn herself in on Monday, said she had a reason for giving these fraudulent prescriptions. Here's what she said. It was done for privacy reasons. She did the best she could under difficult circumstances in the best interest of the patient. Uh, you know, this, and again, this statement coming from her attorney, is there ever a reason why a doctor can legitimately claim, I wrote out the prescription under for an assumed name because otherwise, everybody knows that a movie star is getting this particular prescription. No, it's very nice that she wanted to protect her privacy, right? But like doctors, even the, the pharmacists, they also have privacy rights. So obviously, this was a violation. And saying that is only one aspect of it, Contessa, because then you have all of these other prescriptions that she wrote. So she's talking about one part of a multi-count indictment. So it's Dr. Christine Aroshevich, Dr. Sandeep Kapoor, who already turned himself in and is out at, right now on $2,000 bail. Howard K. Stern also turned himself in. He's out on $2,000 bail. Why is Howard Stern facing the same charges as the doctor? Well, because a lot of the prescriptions A written in his name, they're basically essentially saying that he was the bag man. He was the one going to the doctor, getting the prescription. He knew that she was an addict. Also, Contessa, what's interesting is this, is the fact that he was also acting as her an attorney. So now he's going to be facing ethical violations on top of all of this. But basically, yeah. he was the bag man. He knew he was going and getting the prescriptions, picking them up, allowing them to use her name, knowing that she was going to use the prescription. Now you're with us morning. We are expecting a news conference uh, this afternoon. So leading up to that, we'll talk more about this case and what it could mean in the investigation into the death of Anna Nicole Smith. Uh, California Attorney General Jerry Allen will hold that news conference uh, live at 1 p.m. Eastern Time right here on MSNBC. We'll have that.